Hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar. In this video, I'm going to solve CSRNet uh, June 2019 question paper. And this question is from part C section, okay? And this is the topic of free allowances. And these are asking about the metric, which of the following are metric and not, okay? So let's understand the question first and let's see how one should approach. So question is, you are going to define a function d from r cross r to 0 to infinity via this dxy equal to take the modulus and the greatest integer for all xy belongs to r then you are asking which of the following are true the first option dxy equal to 0 if and only if x equal to y for all xy dxy equal to dyx for all xy belongs to r third this is the triangle inequality dxy less than equal to dxz plus dzy for all xyz fourth d is not a metric so again Function they have defined by greatest integer function. Greatest integer function means that this value is less than or equal to mod of x minus y. And then you are asking whether this is equal to 0 imply this and this equal to this. This is to satisfy triangle inequality or not or d is a metric or not. Okay. So important is how one should approach the question. Okay. So let's understand. I always start how to approach. So how to think. Right? How to approach this kind of problems? Okay. So let's slide one by one. What is given? What is first of all given that you should know? Dxy is equal to this mod of x minus y, and the greatest integer you have given. And you are asking whether this is a metric or not. The first, for the metric, you are asking about d is a metric or not, right? So first, first option you are asking that agar dxy is zero hai, to kya x or y barabar honge? Let me check D, dxy equal to 0 means greatest integer mod of x minus y is equal to 0. And kisi bhi greatest integer function, greatest integer function 0 kab hota hai, jab andar wali quantity 0, so 1 ke beech mein ho. So find a function which is this quantity is not equal to 0 but less than 1. Of course take, take x equal to 1 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 3. So what is the d of 1 by 2, 1 by 3 that is equal to greatest integer 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 ka mod ka greatest integer and this is of course less than 0 because under all quantity is less than 1 hence this is 0 but x is not equal to y fine so the first option is wrong of course agar x y ke barabar hai to dx y equal to 0 but this equal to 0 does not imply x equal to y hence d is not a metric so fourth option is correct now let's come to the second and third option fine now let's come to the second option. What is the second option? Second option is that uh, dxy. dxy is nothing but the greatest integer of this, right? And this is of course this is equal to d of yx. Okay? So dxy equal to d of yx. So this is the true statement. Because if we write, because we know that mod of x minus y is equal to mod of y minus x. And for this, we know that mod of x equal to minus mod of x. So, these two elementary facts I have used. And of course, you should know all those things, right? So, these are the suitable facts I am using. So, using this fact, we can easily answer this question. Fine. So, this is true. Uh, so, second option is true. What about the third option? Third option is quite interesting and you have to find either you should prove or disprove. Just I, I would like to leave this as an exercise. Please think about yourself, right? So third option I like to leave as an exercise. If you're not able to do, no problem. I will do this. But first you should know, right? And it's quite easy as I have done the first option. Like that, it's easy. I will not say the correct option. First you have to do this, okay? So this I'm going to mark the question mark. See how you are going to approach, okay? Jo bhi aapka answer ho, usko comment me likhe. And if it is good, I'll appreciate it. If it's wrong, I'll write the correct option and uh, suitable reasoning for that, okay? So this is the way to approach. Ag even though agar aapse yeh question nahi bana hoga, koi problem nahi hai, okay? Ganit ko sikhna most important hai. Aur aage step ke mistakes na ho, wo bhi sikhna zaruri hai. And uh, us cheej mein jahan ta hoga, main aapko saath dunga, okay? So thank you for watching my videos. And something is written for you. Uh, think about it and hopefully we'll meet from 2nd of July. Okay, so thank you for watching my videos. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. Thank you so much